I've been asked a couple times about the difference between conventional guns and HVLP guns when it comes to spray and finish. Both of the guns I have here are guns that will run off an air compressor. And one of the things I wanna show you is the bounce back difference between these two guns. Now, in order to do this little experiment for you, I've got them loaded with water. The water's got some food dye in it, some green food coloring, so that I don't have to wear a mask while I'm spraying. Make sure that whenever you're spraying a lacquer, polyurethane, shellac, any kind of finish, you're protecting yourself and your shop from the overspray. Now here's what we've got going. I'm gonna hook a regulator up. First I'm gonna spray with a conventional gun. And the thing I really want you to watch for is the amount of mist that rolls back off of my rosin paper here. I made it wet already so it's a little bit easier for you to see that mist as it comes back. Watch all of this stuff coming up off the top here, up here. If I were spraying a finish, that's all finished, it would be getting airborne into the shop. Now I'm gonna switch from the conventional gun to this compressor-based HVLP. Hold the gun the same distance from my target. It's just a kinder, gentler way to put spray on, to put finish on. There's very little mist coming off of this compared to what we were getting from that conventional gun. The numbers on this are that with the HVLP guns, you're getting about a two-thirds material transfer from this compared to about a one-third material transfer from the conventional gun. So. We're getting a lot more of our finish on the project, so we're saving some dough. Also, you're getting a lot less finish airborne that ends up all over your shop. So clearly, the compressor-based HVLP or turbine-based HVLP are a great choice when it comes to efficiently getting finish on the project instead of all over your shop.